Hello, I want to briefly, really quickly walk through how to complete the proposal assignment on the technical side. I'm going to go quickly, assuming that you have written instructions here and that you can go back and watch this again if you need to. If I scroll down, I see all this stuff about the rhetorical argument. You read that on yourself. I want to talk about the technical side. Well, first, we have to create a website on Wix where we can put a picture. So let me go to Wix first. This is Wix.com. If I'm logged in, I know I'm logged in up there, and I go to My Sites, I can click Create a New Site. Sweet. I'll click Create a New Site. It'll give me an option of all these different templates. Well, for right now, I'm just going to choose a blank one, a plain old start from scratch website. I'm going to start editing it by click the edit button. Now, later on, you might want to choose something fancier, something with more colors and all that. That's awesome. For this proposal, all I want to know is that you can successfully make a Wix site. It's going to pop up this, hi, hi I'm this person, Welcome. whatever. I'm going to X out of that. Here I am in my website. So this is where I have to get two things, the three paragraphs of my text of my proposal and a picture from Flickr that's licensed by Creative Commons. It's easier than I think. So I'm going to go over to add because clearly I want to add some text, right? I'll click text under the add button. That makes a lot of sense. And I'll say, well, I want paragraph text here. And it'll actually make a paragraph for me. I can move it around wherever I want to. I can double click inside there and start editing it. So I'll I'll just pretend that that's my text that's three paragraphs long. I'll copy it um, a couple times so I have three paragraphs of content. Um, one thing that we'll look at in class is really interesting. I can add a um, heading or a title or like a something that's interesting there. I can highlight that and I can um, choose this to say, hey, this is a extra large heading or a large heading. Notice how it, it makes it automatically look a little different than the paragraph text. We'll play with that later. No big deal. Okay, I've got my text. I can move it where I want. Done. Now let's get a picture. Well, if I go back to the proposal assignment, it gives me some very specific ex instructions about how to get a picture. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll open this Flickr advanced search in a new tab. And what that link is taking me straight to the page I would go to if I went to Flickr and clicked advanced search. Now, so you can get there on your own from Flickr.com, but I just give you the link straight to it so you don't have to worry about it. So now I'm on the advanced search page and I can search for any word I'm looking for. For this proposal assignment, the picture itself doesn't actually matter. I just want you to prove to me that you can get a Creative Commons license picture on Flickr and attribute it correctly. So um, let's say I'm saying something about Lawrence Lessig. So I'll search for Lessig's last name. Before you click search, this is the important thing. This is why we're on the advanced search page. There's this Creative Commons option, only search Creative Commons license content. That is a requirement for this proposal project. I'll click search and now all the pictures that come up are licensed by Creative Commons. They've been pre-licensed for me to use how I want. There's Lawrence Lessig for you. Let's click the very first one. And as you can see, the picture takes up the whole screen. How do I get this picture? How do I get it on my own computer? Here's what I think is the easiest way. There's this little arrow over here. That means download. So if I click it, I get some options of sizes. Now for this, because I'm putting it on another website, I probably don't want it to be too big. I'm going to choose kind of the medium one. So I click the down arrow, I'm going to click medium. Now it's going to say, all right, sweet, where do you want to save it? I'll just put it on the desktop right now so I don't lose it. Y'all don't just save it anywhere. Know where you saved it, guys. That happens so often. Okay, now this picture at the size I said is saved on my hard drive. So I can go back to my Wix and I can get that picture into Wix now. Well, it makes a lot of sense that I would go under the add button, right? Same way as I got text. I'll add, I'll add an image. I don't care if there's a frame or not. I'll just choose plain old image. And look what Wix does. It says, okay, well, what picture do you want? Do you want any of these pictures you already had or do you want to upload one? Well, I want to upload one. So I'm going to click upload image. I remember I put it on my desktop. There it is. I'll open it up. There it is. It's uploading this picture that I just put. Remember, I'm only legally allowed to put this on a website because it was licensed by Creative Commons. I'm going to select it and I'm going to choose add image. Oh my goodness, there's my Lawrence Lessig picture. Notice a couple things I can do. I can grab the arrows and make it the size I want. I can drag it wherever I want. Okay, this is looking really good. I've almost done everything I need to do in the proposal assignment, which walked you through all of those same steps. One last thing though, remember up here it said, you do have to list the name of the account you got it from and the name of the image. In other words, I have to give credit to this. That's part of the legal requirements of Creative Commons images. So if I'm on Flickr and if on this screen where the picture takes up the site, there should always be the name of the person who owns the picture who uploaded it, Robert Scoble, and it should always have a title, Larry Lessig in this case. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add another little bit of text, add text paragraph size. 
I'm going to drag it below the picture to kind of a logical place. I can even stretch that text box out to whatever size I want. I'll double click in there, delete it all, and I'll say um, Larry Lessig is the title of it, right? So I'm going to put that in quotes, um, and it's by Robert Scoble. So one way I do this is like Robert Scoble, comma, and then the name of the, the picture in quotation marks. Um, I also want people to be able to get to it. I also want to link to this page. Look how messy that link is. Though. What a crazy link. Well, if I if I want, I can I can just link to it like that. Sometimes if you if you click around, you can find kind of a, a cleaner cleaner link. Um, I'm honestly not seeing one right here. So let's let's just take this. Whatever. Um, let's highlight the title of the photo and see if I see anything that looks like a link. There's one that looks like a, a link. I'll add it. Um, I'm going to add a link to a web address. I'll paste it in. Okay. Okay. Now, what I think is when people click that, it'll work. So what I want to do in Wix is to make sure everything worked. I'm going to click this preview button. And what that does is it makes it act kind of like a website. No longer can I double click and edit stuff. It's like you couldn't do that on the web, right? So I can be like, okay, did my link work? I can open this in a new tab and see, is that actually going to take people where it should? Yes, it does. Oh my goodness, I'm a genius. I'm going to go back to the editor. Notice I'm in preview mode. I'm going to go back to the editor. And now I, I go ahead and click pub publish. I get to give this site a name. I can call it like test Lessig site. Wow. Oh my goodness. And now it's going to save it. And now it's not quite live yet. When you're ready to share it to the world, publish it online. Oh, I see. Essentially, it had to save it with a name before it could publish. So, so now I can click publish again. It says, do you want people to be able to find it? I don't really care. Do you want a mobile view? I don't really care. Let's just go ahead and click publish. Wow, now it is up. If I give people this link, this pretty clean looking link, and if they paste it into their browser, they should go straight to my site, which is now a live, real website for anyone to see, including Larry Lessig, including Robert Scoble. Okay, done.